our entrance antiphon. Let my steps be guided by your promise. May evil never rule me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, my brothers and sisters who are joining us uh, via the internet, either live or recorded. Uh, once again, we come to you from St. John's Chapel of Divine Mercy Parish here in Burlington, Iowa, uh, offering you the sacrifice of the Mass. Brothers and sisters, let us pause, acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that school through Lenten observance and nourished by your word through holy restraint, we may be devoted to you with all our heart and be ever united in prayer. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people and said, Now Israel, hear the statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live and may enter in and take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. Therefore I teach you the statutes and decrees as the Lord my God has commanded me, that you may observe them in the land you are entering to occupy. Observe them carefully, for thus will you give evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nations who will hear of all these statutes and say, This great nation is truly a wise and intelligent people. For what great nation is there that has God so close to it as the Lord our God is to us whenever we call upon him? Or what great nation has statutes and decrees that are as just as this whole law which I am setting before you today? However, take care and be earnestly on your guard not to forget the things which your own eyes have seen, nor let them slip from the memory as, as long as you live. But teach them to your children and to your children's children. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord Jerusalem. Praise the Lord Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord Jerusalem. He sends forth his command to the earth. Swiftly runs his word. He spreads snow like wool. Frost he strews like ashes. Praise the Lord Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statues and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Praise the Lord Jerusalem. to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This morning, in both of our first reading and in the Gospel reading, we hear about upholding the law of God. And uh, Americans, especially with their independence, uh, they, they seem to have this rebellious nature against anything that tells us what we must do or what we should do. Uh, Jesus is, is taking the Old Testament and, and he's, he's telling his people it sounds a little ironic here. Uh, he says, not one, the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter uh, will be changed, that it will be upholded, that he hasn't come to do away with it, but to fulfill it. You know, Jesus, as the Word, you know, he is the fulfillment. He, makes, he, he challenges us to go deeper into the commands, into God's law. So that, we can, uh, so that we can live a happy and free life. And it's, it's interesting, some of, the sm some of the original translations, the smallest letter is called a jot, or in Hebrew it sounds more like iota. So if you've ever heard the statement, you know, you know if somebody asks you something, you say, not, not one iota. You know, it comes from this particular scripture passage. And that, in, in Hebrew language, it looks like a little apostrophe. And when he says, not the smallest letter of the law, that's called a tittle. And today we call them seraphs. It's those little uh, sharp points on the ends of letters. But uh, Jesus is, is challenging us and encouraging us to change our attitude in how we look at God's law. The, the, the law, sometimes we think it as something to keep us down, something to burden us. So many people think of coming to church as their obligation or fasting is something we have to do. Jesus gives us the law, God gives us the law as not something to hold us down, not something to bind us, but something to free us. And if we change our attitude and we look at God's law as as ways to be free, ways to experience joy and happiness. That's what God wants from, for us. And by understanding God's law and by incorporating God's law into our lives and how we live, that's where we will find true freedom and true joy. Just like it says in our, in our first reading from Deuteronomy, it says... Uh, that people, if, if we live this way, according to God's law, he says that people will look at us and say, this great nation is truly a wise and intelligent people. Let us today and always, you know, especially during Lent, let us examine our own attitudes toward God's law and let us ask that we can embrace it uh, to truly experience the joy and the freedom that God has for us. Amen.
I almost forgot our intercessions for today. As Jesus shows us how important it is to teach others the truth of his law, we come to the Father asking for intercession. And our response is, hear our prayer. For compassion and comfort for those afflicted with the coronavirus, whether it be physical, emotional, or financial, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That we may take this time of social isolation to draw closer to Christ and grow in appreciation for the church, especially the Eucharist. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May bishops, priests, deacons, teachers, parents, and catechists teach the law of love and mercy to others by word and example. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May those who have been guilty of teaching others to break the law of God repent of their sin and seek to restore the damage that they have caused. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May each of us, relying on the strength of the Holy Spirit, find joy and freedom in God's law to live as his children all the days of our lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the souls of the faithful departed, especially Clarence E. Mummy and the poor souls in purgatory, for whom this Mass is being offered, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, bless our children with your laws and decrees so that they can walk in truth now and always through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the prayers of your people along with these sacrificial offerings, and defend those who celebrate your mysteries from every kind of danger. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that, freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace in unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the heavenly banquet at which we have been fed sanctify us, O Lord, and cleansing us of all errors, make us worthy of your promises from on high. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your life. Thanks be to God. Have a great day.